Next question is from Ander Schimmel. What is all this hype around SARMs? SARMs keeps coming up. Dude, can I tell you guys <laughs> Can't something right now? This one. <laughs> so I did a little I was doing a little research because there's a lot more SARMs that are out than when I first read about them. Oh, yeah. And so I went on Google, did a little bit of research, go back to Facebook, and I'm getting ads like crazy from companies on Facebook. There's so many of these companies selling. Do you and just buy them online pretty easily? Very easily. Hmm. Um, it, it, now, here's a funny thing. Back when I really started reading them and SARMs started becoming, and out, by the way, uh, appreciate your patience. I'll get into what you know SARMs are and what I think about them. What's crazy, when I first started researching them, so SARMs exist in this gray market. They're not legal for human consumption or for sale for human consumption. They're currently called, considered research chemicals, which means you can buy them for research. Anybody can buy them for research. <laughs> yeah. So it's like this gray market area. Yeah. Now, in the past, when you bought a SARM, it would come in a, in a li in liquid form. It would have a dropper, a measurement, so it looked like a research chemical. They're selling it as capsules and bottles that look like bodybuilding stuff. They don't even fuck anymore. They're not even, They're not even cover trying. It, yeah. No, it's crazy. Okay, so what are SARMs? All right, so... SARMs, uh, SARM stands for Selective Androgen Receptor Modulator. Okay, so what are androgen receptors? These are the receptors that testosterone attaches to. Um, testosterone is an androgen and anabolic uh, hormone. Now, why they developed SARMs was they, they were trying to develop a drug that would be able to target specific tissues of the body but not affect others. So if you take testosterone, your muscles will get affected. Your bones will get affected. You'll build more muscle. You'll build more bone. But your whole body uh, has – there's androgen receptors all over. So you might get oilier skin. If you're a woman, you'll get masculinization. You might grow facial hair. You might grow a small penis. No joke. Cl the clitoris grows. Yeah, all we, these, we've seen those. Yeah, all these – and I have seen yeah, them, by the yeah. way. It's weird. Uh, all these symptoms that you'll get all over. So it's like, how, okay, we want to get the benefits of the anabolic benefits of testosterone – but we don't want any of these other potential side effects or whatever. So what they did is they created chemicals that are pretty selective with how they attach to these androgen receptors. And the promise is that you take them and you build muscle. So if you've got like muscle wasting disease or cancer, AIDS, you know, osteoporosis, but you're not getting effects like testosterone, um, the other effects like testosterone. So that's the promise. Now, of course, athletes get their hand on it, hands on it like, oh, cool, I can take this and get effects like steroids. And it's not illegal, but it's not legal, but it's okay. I can buy it online. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem uh, with SARMs. They are new. They're experimental. Most of them aren't even in animal tri uh, human trials. Some of them are just in animal trials. And the ones that are in human trials are not it's still anywhere close to getting approved. So you are literally experimenting on yourself with drugs that you're buying from people who I don't you you don't know yeah. if they're putting it in there or they're not putting it in there what the deal is. Now I've heard a lot of athletes and um you know because it was it was attractive because it wasn't necessarily steroids but they they thought there might be a, a way around that maybe in through testing I don't know what they're oh, thinking. Oh they you can test for SARMs easily. Okay so now they can test for them but I didn't hear about it being that big in the bodybuilding community, or is that not no, true? Hell no, no. Bodybuilders using right because yeah, they're right. already using like all the real stuff. If you talk to a bodybuilder about this, they think it's stupid. Yeah, because you know, they think, or well, I, and I agree with this statement is that we have more research. Oh my god, we know what t testosterone yeah. and steroids. The, 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 the truth, yeah, the only reason why this is even a, a popular conversation, and and I, I totally remember being this boy. You know, this is it's hitting the seventeen to twenty five year old market. Like, oh, crazy. I would I would fall for this. Yeah, one hundred percent, I would totally. too, because they've done such a good job uh, stigmatizing uh, steroids, mm -hmm. and it's got such a, a bad name for itself. And it's mm -hmm. a needle, and it's yeah, well, like, no, I'm natural, right? I'm taking SARMs, up. right? Yeah. So you know, and this so you, is over the counter. You get to claim you're natural. This this you don't this, have to go to the black market. You don't got to inject a needle into yourself. Right. There's, you it's know, oral, so, right? And so you, as a teenage boy who was curious about these things. Uh, I would probably feel like this is me dipping my toe in the yeah. water without mm -hmm. going now, full steroids. Now, now, SARMs work. They build muscle. They definitely have anabolic effects in the body. Mm. Uh, um, so they do work. I wouldn't fuck with we them. We just don't know yeah. uh, a lot about them because they're new chemicals. Um, so it's like you're, you're playing a game. You don't know what the deal is. They're, they're, in fact, they're, they're recently, I just talked to Ben Greenfield actually the other day about them. He was all pro-SARM for a while. And he goes, you know what? To be honest with you now- we're noticing that there may be some cancer pathways that could be activated from wow. this. I mean, we don't we don't know a lot yeah. because 
their new, you know, chemical. You know, CrossFit athletes were getting busted with yeah, SARMs left all the time. Right, yeah. Left and right, because they were getting tested for steroids, but they're like, oh, we could do this. SARM. Wasn't it that girl that got busted and she said it's because she's she making out with a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, remember. it was like his lotion that got on her or something. Yeah. Like, and, and, and there's female athletes are using SARMs because they're being told it's not going to have any masculinizing effects yeah. uh, on the body. But there's so many of them that are out there now. Uh, it's wild. Like some build more mass and some are better for bone, whatever. And I'm doing all this reading. I'm like, and here's a, here's a shitty part, right? Here's, this is crazy. And I'm just going to warn everybody. If you try to do research on SARMs, here's how these internet marketers are. And they're smart. It's sleazy, but it's smart. They'll write blogs and articles pretending to be scientific reviews of the SARMs, but in reality, what they're doing is they're trying to populate the front page, the first page of Google. Yeah, when you So when you go, it. first page of Google, SARM reviews, it's all written by these SARM, you yeah. know, guys who are, who are selling it. Right, right. And they're pretending to be so like, oh, well, you know, it says here there's no risks at all. Yeah. And they're very safe. And the, the studies say that they're really good. And wow, look, this company's got like certification showing that it's pure or whatever. No man, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with that. I mean, if you want to experiment with your body, it's fine. It's your body. Yeah, but I just. But, so, I mean, in that case, if you're going to go that far, I just feel like you may as well dip into the testosterone world. I just, if you're, see, gonna, it's definitely we know what it does. I mean, I, I and I want to make this clear. I'm not promoting that to anybody, right? I'm not definitely, especially no. 17 to 25 year old boys that you should go out and try any of that stuff. But if if I was to go be, if I was talking to 17 year old me, who easily would have been, uh, you know, persuaded by this uh, SARMs, mm -hmm. right? If I could go back and talk to him, I would just say, "Yo, bro, if you're gonna if you're gonna dabble in this world, you may as well." If it's either that or steroids, yeah, just take steroids. yeah, take steroids and do them right, you mm -hmm. know, because there is a lot of research around that, and we know so much more uh, of the effects. And a lot of the things that you talk about, like masculinizing and some of the, the potential side effects of that, that, that those all those increase with the higher and higher doses of that. You they know? do, and it's usually for women that have an issue with that. The guys who take anabolics, if they take testosterone, they probably like the masculinizing aggression, the confidence that, you know, that, that kind of feeling that you get from it. Here's the truth. Testosterone is an, ex for men, it's an extremely safe hormone. It's one of the safest hormones. You can give a man, you know, thousands of times because more you testosterone. Recognize it right he away. might get some symptoms and stuff, but it's not going to kill him like insulin would do. You know, mm -hmm. insulin would kill you right away or, or, you know, other hormones. Uh, but SARMs, yeah, it's, it's crazy though. I'm looking at these ads and I really dug deep. I'm reading and I'm like, man, if I was a kid, and I'm the research. Even as a kid, I was a researcher. Right? I loved to research things. I would have got sold. I would have yeah. read five articles. Oh, all of them say that there's no harmful, you know, issues, and, and and the rat studies show that there's no toxicity, and it doesn't suppress your testosterone. It does. You take SARMs, you will also affect your natural testosterone levels. So some people are like, well, I don't want to take steroids because it'll lower my testosterone. Same thing with SARMs. That'll, that'll still happen. Um, but yeah, I would have fallen for it. I totally would have fallen yeah, for it. Yeah, me too. User beware.